Hey guys, DJ AJ101 here, and I'm back with another video of the installation of the hard disk drives inside this Mercury Elite Pro uh, QX2. So obviously, I just wanted to show you guys how you would install the drives. I actually have all four of them uh, right here. They're the ones that came. They already have the brackets and the screws and everything on. So they're just ready to be slid into this thing. I just wanted to show you kind of what it looks like in the inside of here and how to actually install the drives. It's a very simple process, almost exactly like my Mac Pro that I have over there. But anyways, it does come with a set of keys, as you guys can see right here, and we're just going to basically unlock the unit, and you slide them in, you twist it off, and the keys actually don't come out when they're in the unlock position right here. So as you guys can see, it's in the unlock position. Make sure I show you guys like that so you guys can see. So it's in the unlock position, that would be the lock position going up, and we just pull this off, and it actually detaches the front cover. So this is the entire kind of the aluminum uh, front cover right here, and the keys won't come out until you turn it back up. So obviously it won't let you shut it until you actually have the keys in there, which is quite nice. We're just gonna keep that there, set that off to the side for now so it's in and out of the way. And obviously the picture has gone just a little bit blurry. We'll fix that, make sure that it gets back up here. And I kind of just wanted to show you guys the inside of this unit as well, because it is quite neat. As you guys can see, it's almost exactly like the Mac Pro. Top and bottom has little like, sled trays there. But it also has those connections right there on the back. You can see four of them. That's where the hard drives slide right into the board, just exactly like the Mac Pro, which is very nice and very handy. So this should almost be like installing a hard disk into the Mac Pro and we'll do that right about now. Just make sure that we can get it in a good position where you guys can see it, and we'll go from here. Okay, so obviously we're ready to install the hard drives, so I'm just gonna unbag them right here. We have them right here in the anti-static bags, and as you can see, we just kind of rip them and open them up. You also wanna be very careful that you don't shock them as well, because obviously you know, they're very fragile drives. We don't wanna do anything to uh, kind of make sure that they don't break right away. So obviously we're just gonna take them out. I'm gonna hang on to it by the middle part and bing bang ba boom and that is the drive so we're just gonna kind of show it off right here just to make sure that everything uh, is all set of course like i was showing before this is a um Oops, this is a Seagate drive. If I wouldn't uh, hold it up so close or we wouldn't go into focus. A uh, 3,000 gigabyte, obviously 3 terabyte drive right here. It is the uh, Barracuda series. And it's just a standard hard drive inside of this plate that has a uh, metal and of course these plastic brackets around as well as it says um, a right here with the uh, little turn knobs there. So obviously it has A, B, and C right here. So we're just going to slide this into uh, slot A and see how easy this actually is. So we slide that in. Now I should just be able to screw that in like so. And that looks to be it, guys. That's how easy it is to install the hard drives. I wasn't expecting it to be this easy, but the hardest part has been taking it out of the bags thus far. So we'll just do the last three here. They have these big, they have these big stickers on the back. I don't know if you can see that, but they wrap all the way around, keeping them nice and secure, which isn't a bad thing. Of course, we have the uh, second one right here. It says uh, it says B on the front of it, so we're going to do the same thing with this one. We're just going to kind of line it up with the grid. We're going to just slide it right in. Use the uh, hand tightening screw to make sure it's nice and tight and secured. And um, there's B. I'm going to make sure I find C here. This is C. We're going to do the exact same thing with C. Open it up. Hang on to it by the metal part, make sure you're not to shock the hard disk. We're going to just put it right up here again with the alignments. Push it straight in. Make sure it's in all the way, of course. Ah, there we go, and that one's nice and tight. And now we have one last drive that's going to be drive D. It's obviously it's a four bay raid. Four bay raid. I can never talk in my videos, I don't know why. Just can't get the right words out. So obviously we're going to put this last one right in bay number four, bay D. Push that in nice and tight. Make sure we can screw that in so it does not come loose. There we go. And it's screwed tight, and obviously it has little um, Phillips head screws on the front of here, so if you wanted to tighten it with a screwdriver, you are more than welcome to do that. I also just wanted to also show you guys up here, because obviously this is where the lights shine through with the big fast safe and then the uh, raids as well. And actually this is a little dial that you would use with a little flathead screwdriver. Look right up here at the top, obviously it has that little dial, and you can obviously change it to whatever rate. It has all little instructions right up here in the corner. It also has the instructions on the website and in the book, so obviously as you guys can see, it's very helpful. That's where the screw actually goes in for the actual lock itself.
and there's the power indicator right alongside of that and uh, zero sound I guess is what that little black button is right there but anyways guys I'm just gonna set this right back here this actually gets really heavy once you get all those drives in there if you don't believe me just obviously you can't pick it up but uh, yeah this is <laughs> it does get a little bit heavy take my word for it but anyways, guys, I just wanted to share with you, uh, of course, the installation of these hard drives just to make sure that if anybody would want to order one of these that you weren't very curious, like, oh, does it come with drives? Does it do this? Does it do that? Um, yes, if it comes, does come with drives, the actual sleds are on the drives themselves. I didn't notice that. I thought I was missing parts. And they were actually on the drives in the bags in these, um, these big padded airtight thingies that I was showing you guys in the unboxing of this thing. If you guys like to check that, of course, that's the video before this. It'll be in an annotation at the end of this video for previous video. But anyways, guys, of course, this has been the installation of it, and I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have any questions and or comments, please feel free to leave them below this video. I always appreciate that. Also, feel free to rate this video up and subscribe. Also, check out my YouTube channel if you happen to like my content. I very much appreciate that. I have a lot of great stuff on tech unboxings, reviews, everything like that. Basically, anything in the world of technology that I find interesting I like to share it with you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed anyways this has been DJAJ 101 and I will see you guys in my next video have a great one to let guys